I am Franny of Shine with Franny, and I am super glad to be with you here today. I help entrepreneurs shine online, and we do that by growing your business, launching your business, scaling your business through media marketing and messaging. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I had made this little pick stitch right here of these three different images, and then I posted on Facebook, posted on Instagram. People are like, how did you do that? What did you do? And this might be the basics for some of you, but hopefully this is going to be a very helpful tutorial. It's very, very simple steps, and I'm going to walk you through how to take a selfie, remove the background, and then create your own thumbnail that you can use on YouTube or perhaps anywhere else that you were going to create an image that is branded, polished, and professional looking. So you're first going to start by taking a selfie. You can just go ahead and take that on right on your phone and then send it over to yourself. Now you can also do all of this on your phone. I just prefer to do it on my desktop, on my laptop here, because it's just easier for me to navigate and toggle between the different applications. So you would first take a picture of yourself and we're not creating this today. That might be another tutorial, but you would simply take a picture of yourself and then send it over to yourself. All right. And then from there, we're going to go to a program absolutely free and it is called remove.bg bg stands for background all right now if you haven't used this yet it is fantastic or as i like to say fantastic and you can simply remove a background all right so you're going to go ahead and you're going to upload your image now i've already queued this and gotten oh maybe it didn't oh there it got it ready i already queued it and got it ready because i didn't want to take the time but you would simply find your picture and then you would go ahead and click open and then it just downloads it. And sometimes it does take a minute or two, especially since I've got a couple applications going and I'm recording my screen. So guys, let me back here and we're gonna move this up for a quick second. All right, so then I would have my image. So you can see here this little gray and white checkered in the background. That means the image that was behind me, which is actually right here, it was actually just removed. So this is great. I had a really good friend who said to me, I'm never gonna clean my house ever again. Because guess what? You can have an entire bookshelf or, you know, or toys or a laundry room in your background and all of a sudden it miraculously disappears. So then you're just gonna save that picture. You would just download that picture. Mine is actually downloaded right here for you and I can show you what that looks like. There you go. So it's downloaded and ready to go. So now I've taken my selfie, I removed the background and now I'm gonna go ahead over to Canva. If you've never used Canva, much like remove.bg, it is free, F -R -E -E, F-R-E-E, free. All right, so you can see I've already started queuing that up for you as well. If you've already used it, you already have some designs, just go ahead and type in youtube.com, or sorry, YouTube thumbnail right here. <clears throat> and if you don't have designs, you're just going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to walk you through. I have several branded designs. If you can see, I kind of have, I've already made this one here, but I'm going to walk you through what that would look like. I've got lots of different things on here and you can see I kind of keep a similar format, colors, um, words and things like that. But I want to walk you through just what this would look like if you were to do it on your own. Okay. So I simply take my YouTube thumbnail and put that right there. And then I would look through here. Maybe I didn't, maybe I really like this, but I didn't like the font on that. Or maybe I really like this, uh, the way that solid, solitary, excuse me, I almost said solitude, but I didn't like the mountains in the background. I can take any of these and change them. So just for kicks and giggles, let me see. Oh, this one looks really simple and really easy. So I'm gonna go here to this one and I'm gonna click on this. And then for me, I have several things saved in here, guys, because guess what? I already have my logo, I have some things, but I'll walk you through just a few things really quickly. And let me move myself away. Okay, so you guys can see, hopefully that will not be in the way. All right, so, oh, I'm still there. So now I wanna find my picture. So I'm gonna delete that one. It's as simple as that. Now I have uploaded, oh, I can't see. I've already uploaded my picture over here. Oh, I'm like duplicating myself here, guys. Let me see if I, oh, delete that. Okay, so I deleted myself there, but I'm gonna go to my uploads and I'm just gonna simply go here because I, and then I'm gonna maybe maybe shrink myself, make myself a little bit smaller. And then I can go in here. Now, again, this is not gonna be branded to my image. I'll show you what the final one looks like because I did do that. But I'm gonna put how to, oops, sorry, make a YouTube thumbnail. So that looks really janky because look at it, it's already like off the page. So then I'm gonna go in here, and, oh, I wanna actually just click on this. And I'm going to, I keep on doing that wrong. I just wanna find, there we go. Okay, so do you see how that blue box appeared there? I can change the size of this. I can change it to a 96. I can change it as small or as big as I want. I'm gonna change it to an 80. If I don't like the color of it, look at this. I just simply go to text color. Now guys, if you know your hex codes, you simply type that in, and that might be something beyond for some of you. 
if you've never done a branding you know, exercise or activity, but you can pick the color you want. And you're like, oh, maybe I really wanna to try to match my pink on my shirt. So I'm gonna to try to go up here and I can just kind of play around with the colors and it changes them. You can see how the colors change here. Now my colors are navy and pink. So maybe I don't like the way that this looks, the actual font there. If I don't like that, guess what I can do? I can find the font that I actually like. So again, just for the sake of time, I would take this one and I would put it in here and let's see what happens. I don't know if it changes or not, but I'm gonna simply change, let me just go here and I'm just gonna change this by simply finding a font that I like here. So if I didn't like that, you can see the ones that I typically use are right here all the way up the front. So I don't like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go maybe to this one. And again, just for the sake of time, I'm just kind of walking you guys through that, okay? Now I didn't like the way that this black looks because I typically use blue. So I find that and then I go here if you see that little color and then there's my brand color. So there's my pink and my blue. Now I'm going to add in my logo, which I know well, let's use this one today because I typically use the round dot and then you can see it went off the screen. So I had to shrink it and it's just like it's just like word guys where you would just move your word art around. All right. So then maybe I might move that around and I would have to switch. And, but you, you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of playing a little bit. So you're just gonna allow yourself to be creative and have fun. So my shine with Franny, maybe I'm gonna move that over here and make that much smaller. And then I'd probably wanna add my email or my website, excuse me, in there. So I'm gonna play with that, especially since my colors are not matching, okay? And I can simply match them to this if I wanted. But I'm gonna show you what my final one looks like. I'm not gonna save this, I'm not gonna play with this. I would typically then here guys go and download that. Oh, Something's going on with Canva today, but I would typically download that right there. And then I'm gonna to wanna to come over here and I'm gonna save that, okay? So those are the two important steps. And then you have, voila, you can even change these guys if you want. You can go over here to elements. You can add any little fun things in. If you wanna put a picture of a computer or maybe you wanna put that little, how to make a YouTube thumbnail, you can add that in. You can do whatever you like to do with that. Here is what my final one looked like. Oh goodness. We're it's all a mess right now. Let's see if I can find my designs. Maybe I've got too much going. So there's my final one. How to make a YouTube thumbnail on Canva.com. That's it. So that is the final uh, step here in creating your YouTube thumbnail. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Please make sure you follow me on shinewithbrandy.com. I provide lots of content for you. I send out blogs and vlogs and lots of promotional information that tells you about things that are upcoming. And then of course, I am on all forms of social media except for Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest, but not as a business page. So. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Come and follow me there. I'd love to go ahead and keep you guys informed on all new exciting things. I post videos almost daily on my YouTube channel, you guys. So I'd love to see you there. And by all means, if you have something that you would like me to share and hey, how do I do this? By all means, shoot me an email. Hello at shinewithbranny.com. And I will go ahead and try to create something that will help you. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much.